Chosen Reservoir Veterans. Veterans of the battle, the historic battle of the Chosen Jangin Reservoir in Korea, in South Korea, fought in 1950, November, December 1950. This monument is dedicated to the veterans of that battle and also to the American public and the Republic of Korea people that come over. The students, our youngsters, this is a heritage of those veterans who were involved. Some of them gave all, all of us gave some. I'd like to walk you just around the monument very slowly as a little bit of address at each point. I'll keep it short. But uh, we'll, you'll get an idea, and particularly the veterans, because our average age of the veterans now is 85 years old. We have them up to 90-some. I myself am right at 90. So uh, we will uh, we'll try to speak loud enough and slow enough that the veterans will get it. But you guys that are out there throughout the United States, and some of you who are in Great Britain and some are who are in Korea, will be able to know just exactly what happened in your heritage, your heroic dedication in this battle. Thank you. This is the front of the monument of the Jangin Chosen Reservoir Battle, 27 November 1950 to 10 December 1950. The Eternal Band of Brothers. This is the final arrival at Chin Hung Ni, south of the border. And here, once we got down off of this pass, we were now in relative safety because it was occupied by many army units. But, uh, that is the Eternal Band of Brothers again. It's inspired by the original painting of one of our Marines, Colonel Charles Waterhouse. And we have a big ship of the, of the American Navy that is named after uh, the Chosen Reservoir battle and inspired by uh, this, this painting is on that ship for uh, inspiration and knowledge of those folks. This side is east of, of Jangin Chosen, and this shows a battle scene. The main battle scene is of the pullout of the 31st Regiment. Now, the 31st Regiment consisted of two battalions, one from the 31st and one from the 32nd Regiment, supported by any aircraft weapons, artillery, and tanks. They fought their way out until stopped, and many of them had to, they ran out of ammunition, and many of them had to retreat, not retreat, we don't ever retreat. They had to withdraw across the chosen, the frozen chosen reservoir to safety, relative safety, where we were all organizing at Hagaroo. This side is the, is the defense and fight out from Udam Ni by the 5th and 7th Marines. They had a, a horribly difficult fight against four divisions of Chinese. They had one tank that had made its way through, and of course they had, uh, blessedly, they had artillery. And of course engineers, and every man was a rifleman here and throughout the battle, of course, but particularly out of Udam Ni because of the, the force that they were facing. Uh, Udam Ni, uh, one thing I'd like to cover that I haven't covered up to now, at the top of each of the bas reliefs, you'll see small scenes. Those small scenes are specific actions in that particular side of the battle of Udam Ni. Uh, this, per, for example, this particular side uh, depicts over to the left is Lieutenant Lee and Lieutenant Colonel Davis who led a battalion of Marines over the mountains through uh, 
waist deep snow in the middle of the night to try to relieve the people at Tok Tong Pass. They had very heavy casualties in the, in the move, but they made it and relieved Fox Company at Tok Tong Pass. The middle scene depicts the one single tank that was able to make it up to U Dam Knee and became an invaluable asset in the fight out. The far scene on the right, on the small scenes, is, believe it or not, as they approached Hagaru, the Marines had fought all the way from U Dam Knee, and as they approached Hagaru, one of the Marines yelled, Attention! And the Marines walked in, marched in to Hagaru singing the Marine Corps hymn. There are 23 small scenes on the, on the monument. And each scene, as I said, depicts a, a, special, a special event, uh, many of which wound up in uh, very distinguished medals, even the Medal of Honor. This is Hellfire Valley. This is Hellfire Valley, and uh, the, the depict, depiction of the battle shows where they were cut off. It's a group of uh, Marines, uh, a company of Army, a company of Marines, a company of Army, and a group of Royal Marine Commandos were fighting their way up to reinforce Hagaru, which will be the next side. And at Hagaru, they only had, we only had two companies and supporting, some supporting administrative people, some artillery, a few tanks, uh, to defend against two divisions. Yeah. This is Hagaru Re, where the division headquarters was, the midway between, between uh, Udam Ni and Chin Hung Ni at the bottom of the pass. Hagaru was key to the withdrawal of our forces and fighting out. There was one hill in particular, and the main scene of this, of this uh, particular side of the battle, uh, one hill called East Hill, which was absolutely critical to hold because all road junctions and the airfield that was uh, pulling out wounded and killed was at Hagaru. So the defense of, Hager, of East Hill at Hagaru was absolutely critical. This is Kota Ri, which was the final, the final main point where everybody was congregating to get out. There was one battalion of, of Marines here and one battalion, one of the battalions of the 31st Regiment, which was, had been east of Chosen, who was trying to get up to the regiment and were stopped at Kota Ri. They wound up being very critical in the defense and eventual capable withdrawal of, the, of all of our forces. This is the Funchalon Pass, which was very, very critical to the final withdrawal. What had happened, this was, this was uh, from between Kota Ri and Chin Hung Ni at the bottom of the pass. There was a battalion of Marines at Chin Hung Ni that were fighting north up the main single lane old uh, road uh, to, uh, to, to protect the laying of a bridge over the Funchalon Pass. The Chinese had blown a bridge across so that we could not get out with our wounded, our equipment, and our dead. So the, the thing at, at Funchalon Pass was very, very critical, the, the holding of that, and the laying of a new bridge, which was airdropped at Kota Ri. And during that airdrop, well, is where we developed our logo, the logo uh, which is titled uh, Star of Kota Ri, which is atop the monument.
Oh, how are you? How are you? <laughs> nice good. to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Admiral, uh, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, General. Good to see you nice again. To you. <laughs> nice to see you. Well, we, we, we're done. We're done with the monument. We finally, after this afternoon, five years worth of work, no more. No more for right now. We'll have to put up another one someplace so because we have to honor all of the folks. Come on over here and take a look. You haven't seen it. Uh -huh. Did it? You know, they found a few. These guys were so good at surviving. They're, they're you know, they're trapped there, uh, cut off and left behind, and uh, ever a handful of wounded hiding out in farm hooches and stuff. When the breakout came back through, and so this is one of them. He's he, he's on his back and he's clutching his green breakout. <laughs> of course, once they get here, they move.